Hi there, my name is Kyle Arrington, and I really want to do this video today because we have so much fear inside of us that it's, it's disabling. And I want to tell you a quick story about my son. The other day we went to Fazoli's, and I said, Jake, whatever you want, tell the person what you want. And he was like, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to. I'm shy. And I was like, well, if you're not going to tell him what you want, you're not eating. And then my daughter, who is three, said, oh, I'll tell him. I'll tell him what I want. So she said, I want breadsticks. And then I proceeded to give my order as well. And I said, Jake, tell him what you want. And then he refused. So anyway, I went ahead and paid for what my daughter and I wanted and sat down. And then we got our food and we were eating. And I was like, Jake, you better tell him what you want. And mind you, he's six years old. You better tell him what you want. Go up there. I gave him the money. Go up there. Place your order. And then you can eat. We are here because of you because you like the sandwich here. And he was like, I don't know what it's called. And so anyway, a waitress came by and I said, ma'am, can you help him order? Can you help him figure out what sandwich he wants? And she said, well, do you want to go up and look at the menu? And he said, I can't read. And she said, well, I'll read it to you. And he kind of brightened up. And so they, she took him up there and they figured out what he wanted. And then he went ahead and placed his order and gave him the money and everything. And I praised him and praised him over and over again of how proud I was that he placed his order by himself. So anyway, the next time we went, this was, this was a big deal, okay? We sat in that restaurant for a long time with him telling himself that he hated himself and that he was crying and just all this dramatic stuff. And I stuck to it, which was not easy. I've got to tell you, I'm not sure where I found the energy to do it, but I did. The next time we went to the restaurant, he basically ran up to the counter and said, I want a turkey club with no, no cheese and no tomatoes. And he was really excited about his confidence of doing it. Now, had I just went ahead and placed the order for him and done it all for him, he would not have gotten that experience. And for me, I have to conquer my fears daily. There are some times that I'm just like, oh, I just, I, I don't know. What if this happens? What if, what if, what if? What if? You know, you don't really know until you do it, right? So what if it does happen? Well, okay, then you learn, move on. And so I think it's really important every single day to face your fears, especially whenever you're doing a home-based business. There are so many things to be fearful of um, that are not true. It's just things that are not even out there and you're just, you're, you're conjuring these little images in your mind thinking, oh, what if this happens? I'm, what if I get embarrassed? What if someone um, thinks I'm stupid? What if, you know, what if, who cares? We've got to get over that. And again, I work on this myself every single day to overcome my fears. And seeing my kids overcome their fears as well and working with them is inspiring to me because if they can do it, I can do it, right? And, you know, it, it almost seems like it's easier for them to do it, but it's not. You know, they're in a place that it's very difficult for them too. So we learn from our kids just like they learn from us. And that really stuck with me to, to watch him be so confident with placing his order. And now his confidence is going to be there every single time of, this is what I want. Here you go. You know, instead of, I'm shy, I'm shy. Snap out of it. You can't live life being like that. It's not going to be fun. So I hope this was helpful for you. If there's any fears that you are facing today, whether it's doing a video like this, you know, it's, it, it, it gets difficult to look in the camera sometimes, or if it's writing an article, or if it's posting a post on Facebook, or just whatever, just do it. Just set that fear aside and just do it and see what happens. Because the next time it's going to be easier, and then the next time, and the next time, and then before you know it, it's just going to be second nature to you and you're gonna be a profitable marketer. How does that sound? A profitable marketer. So I hope you enjoyed this. Go take care of your fears and just get them out of the way and uh, hope to have a profitable day. If you'd like to um, click the link below to see how I make money, go for it and we'll see you soon.